person journalist at the ASU Secretariat of the University of Benin, the lecturers from the Benin Zone of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, say it is disappointing for the federal government to deliberately ignore their request to iron out contending issues affecting staff welfare and advancement of the country's public universities. According to the Zone Coordinator, Professor Monde Igbafen, the disposition of the federal government to not address issues regarding the stalled renegotiation of the 2009 agreement on paid salaries, victimization of staff and low funding for universities despite the union's ultimatum after a meeting in May 2024 is an invitation to industrial disharmony. Arising from these two, we have the problem of non-release of third-party deduction, non-payment of NRKM allowances, we call EAA, and of course the problem of a very wicked proliferation of public universities in Nigeria. Many teachers in Nigeria who have been at the mercy of this agreement since 2009 will remain on the same salary regime for 15 years. The union, while noting the negative effect of any industrial action on students, appeals to the public and key players in the education sector to prevail on the federal government to address contentious issues being demanded by ASU. What we have observed and we see us this day is that whilst some of our members have been legally sacked, others have had their salaries withheld for unjustifiable reasons. That is the message we want to give. We are tired of issuing ultimatums and want to let you know that our union has directed the appropriate machinery to, to evoke what we feel will rescue us from the hands of government that is highly sensitive to public investors in Nigeria. Among lecturers at the meeting are those from the University of Benin, Ambrosale University, Adekule Ajasi University, Delta State University, University of Delta, Lushegu Agago University of Science and Technology, and Federal University of Petroleum Resources. Osiwe Mesadu, AIT News, Benin.